Has this ever happened to you? Oh no! My humbucker needs a 500k pot, but my single coil needs a 250k pot. Oh well, I'll just play it anyway. Ouch! How to balance a single coil and a humbucker this week on Learning Curve. Okay, here's the thing. You've got one guitar. It's got one volume. It's got one tone. You want a humbucker and you want a single coil. Humbuckers use 500k pots. Uh, this is because humbuckers are darker and the 500k pots let uh, a little more treble come through. Single coils are brighter. They use 250k pots. Uh, this warms up the trebliness of them. Uh, you can read a lot more about pots and pot values on the internet. There are only about a billion articles about it. So what do I do if I have a single coil and I have a humbucker and I don't want to add another volume pot to my guitar? Use a resistor. That way everything sounds right. For this mod, we're going to use a 500k resistor. I got these on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. It looks like this. Okay, first I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what the basic wiring on a Telecaster looks like. It's pretty simple. I've got two 500k pots. The neck is a single coil. It runs to the first lug, or lug A. On this switch, uh, we'll label the lugs as follows. A, 1, 2, 3. B, 1, 2, 3. The white wire from the neck pickup goes on lug A. The black is grounded to the volume pot. On the humbucker, you tape off the red and white, run the black and the silver to the ground, then run the green to lug B. Short answer, math. It just maths the crap out of your guitar with mathy mathness, and it maths. Long answer? Okay, here goes. Quote, when you use two resistors in parallel, one side of each resistor connects to the same location. For example, your volume pot is a resistor, 250K, 500K, these are resistance values. One side of the pot is a hot or input, and one side of the pot is ground. If you attach a resistor from the hot of a pickup and one leg to the ground, you're putting that resistor in parallel. That's from Freeland pickups. So that, that, that makes sense, right? You, you, you get that? Here's the formula. Yeah, of course that's, yeah. Anyway, here's how you do it. Take your 500k resistor, solder it to lug A if your single coil is in the neck like mine is. Then attach the other leg of the resistor to the back of the volume pot. I know it seems like there should be a lot more, but that's it. Let's see how it sounds. So there's the mod. It's subtle, 
It definitely took some of the treble off the high end. They're not so ice picky. They're not uh, quite so shrill. It's, a, it's really simple to do, especially on a Telecaster. They're really easy to work on. That's one of the many things that I really like about them. I put schematics in the description. I'll put links to everything. You'll figure it out. If you, if you like this episode, please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. Um, please like us. If you have any mods you want to see me do, please let me know. If you like the show, please let me know. My name is Spencer Dobson. Thanks for tuning into Learning Curve. We'll see you next time.